now I'm joined by John Carlos Stanton. John Carlo, another two hits last night. You've been swinging the bat well, punishing the baseball a little bit. How good do you feel when you step into the batter's box? Uh, yeah, it's a good feeling to be able to square some up um, and, you know, put us in a good spot. Hopefully, uh, we usually have traffic on base, so uh, keep the line moving. Hey, you mentioned that traffic. It seems like one through nine guys are seeing pitches. They're contributing. How much pressure does that take off of each individual when you know there are multiple guys in the lineup that can get the job done? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're not going to be uh, our best selves every night, and that's that's why we know we got uh, eight others um, in the lineup that night to uh, pick us up and have good at-bats, and, um, you know, you feed off of that. So, you know, if you have two bad ones, you could uh, finish off with two, three good ones. Look, you guys are 9-2 and two to start the season. It's been an unbelievable start. How much fun are you guys having out there? It's great. It's great. Uh, we're having fun. We're getting down to business. Uh, we know what we need to do each night, and, um, you know, we secure that and, um, you know, have fun in between. What do you think has allowed this team to come together and kind of gel so quickly? Uh, just a common goal. I think, um, you know, there hasn't been selfish at-bats. There hasn't been selfish mentality. Um, and, um, you know, that's contagious. That's understood, and that's, um, you know, the motto right now. You look at Juan Soto. He's certainly getting some love from Yankees fans. But I imagine even as a guy that's watching him and watching his at-bats, it has to be impressive. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, watching his bats, uh, his at bats when we uh, used to play him every uh, every so often, you know, it's cool to see. But we don't want him to do too much. But now it's cool to see, and we want him to do everything. So uh, it's been awesome. He's an incredible player. Uh, he just brings fire and energy, and um, you know, it's great to have him. I imagine it's one of those guys. Hey, he's on our he's on our side yeah, now. Yeah. We're glad he's on yeah, our side. Yeah. Hey, I have to talk hitting meeting. Now you guys were going into a hitting meeting today, and it looked like Club Yankee in there. Was there a smoke machine? There was definitely oh, music. We need a smoke what machine was going now? on in there? Uh, we got to keep the vibes right, you know. We, we play uh, a good song, some good music uh, to open it and, um, you know, uh, reflect on the at-bats before or what we got to do tonight um, and just uh, be loose with it. But, no, we got a business to take care of. Serious at the same time. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, having smile, a little... Smile, don't, smile, don't. Yeah. <laughs> what does is, what is your preparation in particular look like as the DH on a daily basis? Um... Just make sure I'm ready. If, I, if I'm going to hit out on the field, uh, do my prep work. Otherwise, I can um, hit the machine inside uh, and just get ready for my game plan for whoever's pitching that night. Now, you're, pitch you're playing against a team in the Marlins that you spent your first eight seasons. Not a lot of familiar faces over there anymore, but you did spend eight seasons with the Marlins. What stands out to you about your time? in Miami. Uh, not a lot of familiar faces or Jersey, you know, <laughs> yeah, right? it's like a completely different uh, org, but um, yeah, it's a young, talented group, you know, uh, they, they have a great pitching staff that's unfortunately a lot of a lot of them hurt for them, not for us, but uh, yeah, I think they got a bright future, they just need to put it together and um, be able to um, bounce back from times like they're having now and uh, understand that it'll be good for them in the future. How different is John Carlo now than John Carlo a name change, but John Carlo when he came up with the Marlins. Um, I mean, you, you forever evolve, so uh, it's it's a it's a beautiful game that you got to develop and adapt and um, you know figure out how to c continue to be successful. So uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm very different from that ki that young kid, uh, but still always uh, things to learn. What do you think is the biggest area of growth since then? Uh, this the mindset probably. I mean. Um, some days, when, when you're 20, 21, 23, you can just roll out of bed some days and, and th things will come, you know, you just get warmed up and uh, it's a little different, but, you know, there, there's going to be some days where you don't, uh, it don't feel great getting out of bed, so, uh, yeah, it's the mindset, it's how do you how do you win each day, how do you win the algorithm of the day? I feel you, that goes for reporters what, and broadcasters, hey, hey, everybody, too, yeah, everybody, everyone's getting yeah. a little older every day, you know what I mean? Uh, how do you hype yourself up for a big ad bad? How do I hype myself up? By calming myself down. Um, it's it's how do you um, bring down the moment? Understand it's it's me and him, uh, a, a goal to achieve, and uh, don't let distractions creep in. Well, you certainly got a hold of one the other day. Grand Slam seventh as a New York Yankee. When you hit a ball like that, can you just explain to people what it feels like <laughs> who will never have that feeling in their life? 
Uh, when you barrel one like that, it, it, it doesn't feel like you hit much uh, specifically on the bat. It's just like a smooth, um, almost simulation action. Um, and uh, luckily, if they go far enough, you can watch it for a little bit and uh, enjoy it. Well, I think a lot of fans enjoyed that one. They're hoping a lot more are to come this season. Hey, the other day it was interesting. The eclipse was happening. A lot of guys out here to watch the eclipse. Did you see the eclipse at all? I did. I did. You did? Yeah. Now, who in that Yankees clubhouse is most likely to come? Come out here without the glasses. <laughs> um, uh, I, I would say Tommy, but he's not here, of course. <laughs> you know what? Somebody it, else said Tommy, that, too. Yeah, yeah I, would, I would stick with Tommy. Um, but, but it was pretty cool. We were, uh, a lot of us were in the bullpen, some in the dugout. It was cool. I feel like I'm going to get you in trouble now. Yankee most likely to be just a little bit late for the bus or for stretch. Ooh. Um, I think I've seen you late to a few bu buses. What? No. I'm going to say Meredith. Oh, my I'm goodness. I'm going to go with Meredith on I don't that believe one. it. Yep. I don't believe it. I will not subscribe <laughs> to that. And uh, if you were not playing baseball, what do you think you'd be doing? Uh watching eclipses all over the world watching eclipses well uh you know those aren't coming around for another 20 years and i know you have a game to prepare That's for right. so we are going to let you go now there were some crazy renovations in the yankees clubhouse this year and we are going to get to that next with an all-new mayor on the move the pinstripe diner is there john carlo what do you order before a game um a smoothie uh uh, fruit smoothie with some protein. Get ready to go. Super healthy. I like it. Giancarlo, thanks for the time.